safi kabisa mtazamaji for the first time madam hot air wali goose chase ameweza kutoa maamuzi ambayo ni bora kuelekea kwa muungano wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya aswa chama cha ODM baada ya kuweza kutupilia mbali kesi ambayo ilikuwa imewasilishwa na mmoja wa wanachama wa chama cha Yuda mkipenda UDA ambaye aliweza kuhamia upande wa UDA kuweza kupingana na uchaguzi wa mwaka na ishirini na mbili nataka niweze kukuelezea kwa kina hey, siku ya leo sijui penye matha kaome aliweza kuamkia aliweza kuamkia mkono wa kushoto ama wa kulia kwa sababu for the first time muungano wa azimio unapata ushindi kutoka Supreme Court kwa sababu tangia hapo nyuma kesi yoyote ikifika kwenye Supreme Court ikiwa na uhusiano na Raila Odinga alafu upande mwingine ni chama cha Yuda UDA inapewa ushindi azimio tunaambulia patupu teka ni example kesi ambayo iliweza kuwasilishwa na Raila Odinga ya mwaka 2022 Ruta akapewa ushindi sisi tukalilia upande mwingine teka ni example kesi ambayo ilikuwa na uhusiano na bajeti ya mwaka 2023 kwa sababu iliweza kuwasilishwa na mtu wa azimio ikaweza kutupeliwa mbali. Karibu niweze kukuelezea mtazamaji wangu kila kitu ambacho kimeweza kutokea mahakamani tafadhali. Kila ambacho na kuomba chukua sekunde yako hii moja uweze kupiga subscription. Ukishapiga subscription tafadhali turn on the notification bell ili kipindi ambapo tunaweka uh, matukio YouTube peke yake na kunotify na kuambia kwamba matukio yameweza kuwekwa hapa tafadhali kayaangalie. Kila ambacho tena na kuomba tafadhali like video Alafu ukitaka watu wengi waweze kujua kwamba baba ameweza kupata ushindi kutoka mahakamani tafadhali share kuelekea kwa watu wengi ili ama kuelekea kwa grupu nyingi ambazo uko nazo ili watu waweze kupata ujumbe kamili The Supreme Court has dismissed the petition challenging the election of Wajir governor Ahmed Abdullahi and his deputy Ahmed Muhumud Abdi Mweza kuwa na mtazamaji wangu The petition was filed by Dr. Hassan Mohamed Adan. The Supreme Court the, the, the Supreme Court's decision is in line with an earlier ruling by the Court of Appeal which had also struck out a similar petition on the grounds that it violated rule number 6 of the Court of Appeal election petition rules 2017 which requires all appeals to be initiated by the notice of appeal. Umeweza kuona mtazamaji wangu? Hapo sasa umekwisha pata taswira kwamba mahakama ya Supreme Court ambayo kipena mahakama ya upeo imeweza kuwapea muungano wa azimio ama imeweza kutupea muungano wa azimio moja wa Kenya ushindi kwa mara ya kwanza kabisa tangia uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 ulipo kamilika umeweza kuona umeweza kutupilia mbali kesi ambayo ilikuwa imemshtaki gavana wa Wajiri ambaye ni kutoka upande wa chama ama kutoka upande wa chama cha ODM na yule ambaye alikuwa amewasilisha kesi ya kuweza kupingana na ushindi wake ni kutoka kwa chama cha Jubilee lakini baada ya uchaguzi kuweza kukamilika kuna wale unajua waliweza kuhama eti oh sasa baba awezi akaenda tena akauliza uchaguzi akaweza kutorokea upande wa chama cha UDA. Mweza kuona. So akaenda kajisajili katika chama cha UDA lakini alikuwa na kesi mahakamani ya kuweza kupinga gavana wa Wajiri ambaye ni kutoka chama cha ODM kwa kila ambacho aliweza kusema kwamba hakuweza kushinda uchaguzi kwa njia ya halali. On Friday Supreme Court judges Martha Kome, Philomena Mwilu, Njoki Ndungu, Isaac Lenaola and William Uko upheld the Court of Appeals decision. Appeal judges Daniel Musinga, Helen Omondi and Ngenye Masharia had initially dismissed Dr. Adams's petition on the ground that it was not properly lodged. Unajua hapo awali mahakama ya rufaa ambayo inaitwa Court of Appeal ilikuwa imekataa kesi hii. Unajua <laughs> kumbe huyu mtu wa judi yako kwa ametosheka. I think ilikuwa ni mwezi wa tatu. Court, eh, mahakama ya High Court ikaweza kutupilia hii kesi mbali wakaweza kusema kwamba ODM waliweza kushinda kwa njia ya lali katika kiti cha ugavana upande wa Wajiri huyu mtu ambaye aliweza kuhamia katika upande wa UDA ambaye inaonekana kwamba alikuwa na sukumwa na William Ruto ili waweze kuelekea by election 
akaweza kuchukua malalamishi yake katika court of appeal yani kipenda koti ama koti ya rufaa ama mahakama ya rufaa pia katika mahakama ya rufaa ikaweza kusema kwamba ule uamuzi ambao uliweza kutolewa katika mahakama ya juu nikimaanisha high court kwamba gavana wa wajiri alikuwa elected uh, legitimate legitimately uh, ikaweza kusema kwamba kesi hii tumeweza kuikazo na kuweza kusema kwamba huyu gavana aliweza kushinda kwa njia ya halali vile vile huyo mlalamikaji kutoka sasa chama cha UDA hakuweza kutosheka akaweza kuchukua kesi hii moja kwa moja akaweza kumtwika Martha Kome akamwambia sasa uamuzi ambao umeweza kutolewa na High Court pamoja na Court of Appeal sijaweza kukubaliana nao sasa nimeweza kuleta kwako nikiwa na imani utaweza kuniokoa siku ya Ijumaa lakini ripoti ambayo imeweza kutolewa Jumatatu ni kwamba Martha Kome for the first time ameweza kupea chama cha ODM ushindi kwa kuweza kutupilia mbali kesi ambayo ilikuwa inapingana na gavana wa wajiri ambaye aliweza uh, kuchaguliwa kutokea kwa chama cha ODM. Unanielewa? Umeweza kunielewa tangia tulipoanza High Court mpaka tumeweza kufika Supreme Court? Kama unanielewa niambie, mweza kuniona mtazamaji wangu, dissatisfied with the decision of the Court of Appeal Ad, uh, Dr. Adam through his lawyers kioko kilo kumi, Paul Nyamodi and Hisa Manzuri appealed to the Supreme Court which has jury sediction to hear appeals under article 163a of the constitution umeweza kuamini mtazamaji wangu unajua kioko kilo kumi ni wakili wake rais william samoei ruto nakumbuka kipindi cha petition ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2023 yani 22 kudiradi kioko kilo kumi alikuwa ni kati ya wale lawyers ambao walikuwa namwakilisha bwana william samoei ruto upande wa supreme court Mm. akina huyu waziri wa usalama wa ndani Kithrek Ndiki pamoja na wengine wengi zaidi walikuwa walikuwa wanaongozwa ama walikuwa kwenye kikundi kimoja naye kioko kilo kumi ambaye sasa hivi ameweza kumwakilisha huyu mdalamikaji e, kutoka chama cha UD ambaye alikuwa anasema kwamba huyu gavana wa wajiri hakuweza kuchaguliwa kwa njia ya halali alia This year Dr. Adam was dealt a major blow when the High Court upheld the elections of the Governor Abdullahi. Kila kitu ambacho nimeweza kukuelezea. Akuweza kuridhika na High Court, akachukua Court of Appeal, Court of Appeal ikaweza kumkataza tena, akachukua wapi? Akaweza kuchukua upande wa Supreme Court. Mbona hapo? By the way, hii kitu imeweza kunikumbusha mnamo wiki iliyopita Ijumaa kipindi ambapo Martha Kome aliweza kusema kwamba ile bajeti ya mwaka 2023 iliweza kuundwa kwa njia ya halali. Aliweza kumuonya vikali huyu huyu seneta wa Busia ukio mtata aita kwamba respect the court's ruling. Yaani wanamwambia kwamba court of a high court ikaweza kusema kwamba yani court of appeal ikaweza kusema kwamba eti hii bajeti ni nzuri. Kwa hivyo wache ipite. Ukio mtata akaweza kuchukua kesi Supreme Court. Supreme Court wakaweza kusema kwamba hii bajeti ni nzuri wacha ipite. Lakini wakaweza kumuonya ukio mtata ati kwamba aweze ku respect uh, court is ruling. Mbona hapa hawakuweza kumuonya huyo mtu wa William Samoei Ruto aweze kumwambia aje? Hapo hao walikuanzia High Court. Waliweza kukunyima ushindi. Mbona ukuweza kuridhika? Mbona ukuweza kuridhika? The petition had alleged several illegalities and irregularities in the conduct of the elections including intimidation and misinformation of the voters gross discrepancies in statutory reforms improper counting and tabulation of results failure to use schemes kits and inflation of vote totals through the use of the supervisor method of uh, voter indication. Yaani huyu ambaye ni kutoka sasa kwa chama cha UDA kwa sababu alikuwa ajibilia akahamia UDA. Analamika akisema kwamba kipindi cha kura kulikuwa kuna watu ambao wa, wenye wa sasa walikuwa wanapingana na huyu gavana ambaye yuko pamlakani eti kwamba walikuwa natishiwa. Eti wakaweza kumuongezea kura tena zaidi. Hapo penye wanasema eti kwamba inflation of votes wakaweza kuongezea huyu sasa gavana wa wajiri kula, eh, kura nyingi zaidi. Ha? akaweza kusema kwamba kuna vifaa vingine ambavyo havikuweza kutumika hizi ambazo zinajulikana kama Kim's kits hazikuweza kutumika kipindi cha uchaguzi vile vile akaweza kusema kwamba improper counting 
and tabulation yani anasema kwamba kipindi cha kuhesabu kura pamoja na kurekodi chini ama kuweza kuandika ile idadi ya watu ambao wameweza kuzoa kura uh, anasema kwamba hazikuweza kuhesabiwa vema pamoja na kuweza kurekodi vema unanielewa hapa hivyo mtazamaji wangu sijui kama unanielewa kama unanielewa haya basi weka hapo chini niambie kama unanielewa the governor and the IEBC denied all the allegations set out in the petition claiming that the elections were supported by the sophisticated electoral management system in accordance with various electoral laws after hearing the petition the tribunal dismissed the petition with cost and upheld the elections of governor Abdullahi and Ahmed and Ahmed Muhammad Abdi as governor and deputy respectively akaweza kusema kwamba hii kesi imeisha hakuna haja ya kuweza kupoteza wakati hapa gavana wa ODM aliweza kushinda vizuri na huyu sasa Adam Dr Adam ambaye ni kutoka chama cha UDA sasa hivi pole wewe nienda nyumbani ngojea mwaka 2027 the last elections governor Abdullahi who ran on the Orange Democratic Movement ODM ticket poll uh gained the 35,533 votes against Dr. Adam who got 27,224 votes the jubilee party ticket kabla hajaweza kuhamia chama cha Yuda yeye haoni mtazamaji wangu kuna difference ya 35 na 27 yeye haoni kuna difference ya votes almost 7,000 sasa hizo 7,000 sasa hata angeambiwa okay bas let evidence kwamba uliweza kuibiwa angezitoa wapi hizo almost 7000 difference ya votes angeambiwa leta hizo 7000 angetoa wapi angalau unajua tungesema kwamba huyu governor wa ODM alishinda na 35000 votes alafu na huyu governor sasa mwenye alikuwa chama cha jubilee kabla hajaweza kuelekea upande wa UDA tusema aliweza kushinda na 35400 hapo tunaweza tu, 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 tukasema kwamba mm -mm, aliweza kunyanganywa kidogo lakini sasa difference ya 7000 atatoa wapi Anyway mtazamaji wangu wazo lako ni lipi for the first time hata kaome ambaye tumemzoea kwa ma hot air madam hot air wali was jess ameweza kutoa maamuzi ambao ni ya busara sema nasi na rejea na migezo zaidi jina langu ni Mr Eagle it